Hey there, welcome to the channel. This is Caffinicus, and for today's inaugural World of Warships video, I'd like to share a game in the Mikhail Kutuzov, a tier 8 premium Russian cruiser. This is on the map Two Brothers, and it's a tier 8 maximum game with two carriers. At the start of the game, I decide to head east to help Amehan, and to use the islands up ahead for cover. Now for those who are familiar with the game, you may be wondering why I'm showcasing the Mikhail Kutuzov as uh, the ship is no longer available for sale in-game, outside of course of some special events. This is however one of my favorite ships and it is certainly my most played ship, so I felt that it would be a good one to start the channel off with. During this video, I'll share some of my thoughts on the um, pros and cons of the ship, uh, as well as some of my commentary on the gameplay. Now we're moving up here and I see that the Parseval has sent some uh, rocket planes out here. I make a mistake though, as I think he's going for the Mahan but he's really not so I don't really react quickly enough until I see him coming in for me. So I give him a big broadside shot and he does 13,000 damage to me right off the bat. So that's really um, not a great start for me here in the game don't ever uh, want to give up 13,000, that's about a third of my health right off the bat uh, without getting anything for it, especially on a, a ship like the Kutuzov, which is a cruiser. But that's okay, um, I did get 7 plane kills, so um, I'm going to slow down here, right behind this island. Hopefully with my Mahan providing some spotting, we'll be able to get some damage done. So. What's good about the Mikhail Kutuzov? Well, it's got great guns, as you'll see here in a moment. It's got 1,252mm guns with excellent range, up to 19 kilometers. Um, the shell velocity is great, accuracy isn't bad as well, up to at least up to middle, mid range or so. It's got pretty decent AA, which you saw early on. When that carrier came in for a strike, I did get, again, 7 plane kills. Uh, it has also usable torpedoes, so the Kutuzov has uh, 2x5s, so two launchers, one on each side, five torpedoes per launcher, and these go out to 8 kilometers. So they're not the short-ranged 4km Russian torpedoes that you're pretty much used to up to this point. They're actually very viable um, torpedoes to be used in case an enemy battleship, for example, tries to YOLO in and uh, steal your vodka. So very very good torpedoes and of course what makes the ship special is the smokescreen consumable that you see me use right here um, for a while during the early days of the game the Kutuzov was the only openly available cruiser with a smokescreen consumable the only other cruiser at that time which could mount the smokescreen consumable was the Iwaki Alpha uh, and good luck getting all your hands on one of those as it was a reward ship given out to alpha testers of the game. So these days though, it's obviously not as special anymore uh, because you do have the Royal Navy Lights, you have the Italian cruisers, um, you even have the Anchorage and the Smolensk, which all can now mount a smokescreen consumable. But, you know, it's one of those oldies. Uh, and finally, of course, as a premium ship, you will get a lot more credits and experience. As, um, and it's also great for grinding out captains for the Russian cruiser lines. Now I've been firing at the La Galicioner over there and the Fruso, and I finally get my first kill. So hooray, we get a nice shot off on that tier 6 cruiser, get it taken out. Now we're going to push out a little bit and help Omahan with the Fuso that's out here. Now we've talked a little bit about the advantages of the Kutuzov, let's take a look at some of the weaknesses. Um, this ship is huge for a cruiser, um, so it, you're going to have pretty poor concealment. I believe you have a concealment range of about 11.2 uh, kilometers or maybe 11.4 kilometers, somewhere in that range. So you're going to be seen from the moon. Um, and in fact, many of the cruisers that you may uh, see in the game are going to have better concealment than you, which means 
they will be able to dictate the initial exchange. If they see you, they can decide whether or not they want to engage or if they want to bug out. And if they do engage, then they're going to get that first shot off, which could be very detrimental for your health. Um, we did get that Fuso, by the way, so that's our second kill of the game. And now we see a Skan uh, coming through the center, the middle of between the two islands over here. So I'm trying to ping my team to make sure they know that there's a destroyer coming up and trying to get rid of our carriers. I decide though to go ahead and push forward anyway because I see there's a Duka organizer now. A couple of carriers here of course paying attention to that destroyer um, and potentially an Akatsuki going back so I'm not so worried about that Skan getting away. The other um, weakness that the Kutuzov has is that it doesn't have access to a repair party consumable the same way um, let's say the Royal Navy light cruisers do or the Atago does at tier 8 which is another um, premium ship so what you have at the start of the game is all you've got to work with so do be aware that you don't want to lose a lot of your health early on like I did um, but you know, on that last carry strike that we just saw, I was paying a little bit more attention. I did turn um, parallel to the attack path of the strike fighters, uh, strike planes, and so I didn't really take very much damage there. The scan does get taken out by our team, so that's great. I'm pushing up here um, to use the smoke by the Mahan and see if we can put a little bit more damage out on some of the enemy ships. Uh, finally, one of the other uh, weaknesses of the Kutuzov is that it's it has decent maneuverability, but I tend to feel that the ship glides a little bit when you're trying to um, slow down or when you're trying to pull turns. So do be careful um, that you know when you push into an enemy fleet and you want to use your smoke screen consumable, make sure you slow down uh, in advance of shooting. Uh, otherwise, you will glide out of your smoke, get spotted, and potentially get deleted. Especially when you're looking at um, battleships that can overmatch your armor. Pretty much everywhere here, uh, frontally. So, I'm going to use the spotting provided by Mahan, the our Mahan here. And again, the Kutusov does not really have great concealment, so sitting in smoke screen, you'll want to make sure that your team provides you enough vision. I take a few shots at the Wichita, he disappears, but I get lucky, get a fire, um, and he burns down. So that's our third kill. Now I'm going to sit in my smoke, uh, try to do some damage on the Nelson, but then decide, you know what? Um, it doesn't look like there are many threats here to me, so I'm going to push up with my team, help them with some AA and uh, some fire support. We're still shooting at the Nelson over here. Um, I'm not so worried right now about getting broadside shots by the other ships on the other side here because I've got the island with for cover. But I don't really pay attention until now. Uh, to see that the torpedo bombers are coming in from the carrier. So I actually turn out here to keep my guns on the Nelson, but this is actually a pretty risky maneuver. I turn to avoid the torpedoes, but I give a very big broadside to the Nelson here. I also end up eating a torpedo uh, in the aft quarter, but fortunately uh, the Nelson decides he's going to shoot at our destroyer and not me. Otherwise, there's a big potential there that I could have been deleted with a couple of Citadels. So I turn back in, try to put some pressure on the Saipan, uh, while also taking shots at the Nelson since he's no longer on fire. I'm going to try to light him on fire again, get some extra damage in. The Saipan is also bringing some attack planes in some rocket planes, um, but I believe he's going for our Colorado that's right ahead of us. Or maybe not. Okay, so I do get a fire. Um, 
a fire on the Nelson, we should be able to get the kill here. So I'm trying to take out the Nelson, uh, remove a battleship from the enemy line, and... And the Ganais now eats our lunch here, so that's okay. We do get one of the battleships out of the way. So I can now focus on the Arizona, 16 kilometers away on the other side of the map. So again, the excellent range of the Kutuzov here plays a great role and allows us to engage multiple targets. We have lost sight of both the carriers though, and the, um, the Arizona is really the only thing that we can engage here, but that's fine. He isn't moving very much, so even at 16 kilometers, our accuracy will be able to land some shots. So planes come in. I don't think they're going for me. Um, so we do just help out with the AA for our battleships and our uh, destroyer up ahead. Unfortunately, the Mahan takes a torpedo from the carrier drop. So we're going to try to avoid those torpedoes and we're going to try to finish off the Arizona. Should be able to take him out with this salvo. He's only got 500 health left and our salvo's in the way. But the lightning takes him out. That's okay. Another battleship taken care of. We now see the both carriers as well as the last remaining battleship, the Richelieu. I turn into the strike from the carrier, but I still get, um, I still take quite a lot of damage there. And this again is another risky play, because the Richelieu was pointing his guns at me, uh, but I was able to smoke up and disappear just in time to avoid getting blapped out of the water. So, the last three ships on the enemy team, this is a target rich environment as some, as with certain uh, F-14 fighter pilot would have said. I'm trying to get rid of the Saipan and launch a couple salvos at him, hoping that will be enough. We land 8 hits, but that's not enough. Our second salvo is... I don't give enough lead. I don't think I give enough lead here either. But that's... I'm going to see if that's enough while I turn my attention back at the Richelieu. And I think that's probably a little bit of a mistake. I mean, I, I could have gotten the Saipan there. A couple of uh, salvos that um, I did not give enough lead on. And he gets taken out by our lightning. So um, I focus down the Richelieu instead. And this is where you can see the Kutusov's guns is actually pretty accurate. That's 10 out of 12 hits. Um, as on that Richelieu. And now I focus the Parsifal instead to maybe try to get some of my revenge on his uh, strikes on me earlier. My smoke screen is running out so I've got to push forward. And there you can see 17 kilometer range I'm landing 6 out of 7 shells. Um, you know it's pretty good. Now I've got some speed going. I'm going to focus down the Richelieu uh, with IFHE of course I can get some good penetrations on the battleship and what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get ahead of his turrets so that um, he doesn't and, um, so he doesn't take a shot at me otherwise he'll have to turn his whole ship or his turrets which makes it uh, which takes a little bit longer for him to engage. He is engaging our Colorado now, I think, though. So this allows me to farm damage pretty well. We're up to 167,000 damage uh, towards the end of the game. Let's see if we can finish this off. Maybe get our fourth kill. We've got a fire on him. Um, this should take the cell. We should take him out. Uh, oh no, actually, he's healing. And the Colorado gets kill. I don't know if you noticed, but that Colorado actually got a double strike there at the end, um, taking out the carrier and then splitting his shots and getting the battleship as well at the same time. So good play and getting a double strike, which is great. Congratulations. Um, so you can see the 
post game result screen here, one point almost one point five million credits, twenty two thousand experience, uh, eighteen thousand free XP on one hundred seventy seven thousand damage game. So that's pretty decent. We get a high caliber and confederate. Uh, we end up with twenty two hundred ninety one base experience, top of the team. You can see some of the uh, ships that we were looking at shooting at did a pretty good chunk of damage on multiple ships of course and um, unfortunately we don't get the kill on either the Richelieu or the Nelson even though we did about 40,000 damage on each of those ships um, we as we did see earlier on we did get 1.5 million credits but that's um, a little bit deceptive because I did have quite a lot of flags on the ship. So uh, base credits was just shy of 600,000, but with the modifiers, which are the flags, um, that gave us another 900k, which totaled out just shy of 1.5 million. Um, I am grinding out the free experience. So again, those flags do help. And that's how I did get the 18,000 uh, free experience on this on this game so the kutusov an oldie but still a goodie at least in my opinion it's one of the ships i play when everything else seems to go wrong in polar warships and for me it just seems to bring consistently good results um, for anyone interested here are the captain skills and equipment that i use for the ship a priority target adrenaline rush expert marksman superintendent for that extra smoke demo for the fire um, concealment expert to at least try to get my concealment down a little bit and of course IFHE so you, you can penetrate the 32 millimeter armor threshold. For equipment I have main armaments, uh, mod 1 damage control system, aiming systems, propulsion and of course concealment system mod 1 to try to minimize the detection radius. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, please feel free to hit the like button or subscribe to the channel if you're so inclined. Uh, and I plan to put out a World of Warships video every week or so going forward. So I hope you'll join me again then. Thank you for watching and take care.